Welcome to Fishing Trawler. This is the uh, poor man's method right here. If you don't have the money uh, to actually buy the swamp paste, if you're just starting out on a new account or a brand new Iron Man, this is going to be your best bet is to just come up top um, and fight off these Kraken tentacles and repair the, uh, the fences here. Uh, it gives plenty of points within the time limit uh, to get your reward potential and you don't have to spend your entire cash stack on swamp paste from the general store. Just a little little tip. Um, probably not as AFK, but a lot less money. Alright, so I was wrong about this not being AFK. Apparently, according to the wiki, all you need is 50 contribution and then you're set to pretty much AFK the rest of the match because I guess that's all you need to be able to get a chance at the angler or any piece of the angler. So right there, I'm 50 contribution, the bar turns yellow. I should be good to AFK. Um, I might just go a little more, um, just to get that green. I, it shouldn't take, maybe just one more tentacle, just to be on the safe side, but that's supposedly all you need. And go top, 28 KC. And we got the waders and the hat. Oh, both pretty close together. Um, about time we get started to get lucky. We're at 68 fishing trailers total. So hopefully we can snag these boots, the last piece of the set, pretty quickly. Because uh, I should have had, what is it, 1 in 12, uh, 5 pieces by now. So I guess we're paying a little bit for how lucky we got with the hammer. So can't really complain. Okay, got the boots literally on the next reward net. Um, <laughs> so it didn't go too dry. Total trawler count is 69 for the whole set. Nice. And I sold off the rest of my fish to the general store, which is where this nice little cash deck came from. And uh, don't need these logs anymore. Go ahead and burn those up. I dropped the boots of lightness because, you know, new best in slot. Um, which, by the way, this set must have... There must have been an update to the set because it does not weigh as much as it used to. <laughs> um, I expected to be weighing, like, close to 40 kilograms, but now I weigh uh, 3, so not too bad. Um, yeah, being done here means we get to go back to our main grind, Temporos. Uh, we're currently at 300 and, I don't know, 7 reward permits, so we'll get to 400 and take our next little break. Okay, so here we are back with our first game post full angler which gives us our last combat task for this boss uh, really awesome this is the first boss of the account and the first completion on the boss task log uh, so yeah not too bad I think the hardest one was probably to get the 10 reward permits which isn't even like that hard um, once you learn the solo method so yeah dress like you mean it here we are with 400 reward points at Temporos. Uh, that means we get yet another break. <laughs> uh, really not too bad. Liking the solos a lot. Um, could probably honestly go to 500 without a break, but since 500 is my goal, um, and afterwards I'm most likely going to be training construction using the Mahogany Homes method, I'm thinking that I should probably do some quests that will allow me to do that a little more efficiently. Uh, by that I mean uh, gain access to Corrent and potentially do the quest pertaining to Hosidius uh, because that'll just get me a quick way to teleport to Hosidius or even just access to it in general um, as there are a good quarter of the contracts 
there in that city. So, I think that's the plan. We're going to do whatever quest lets us get into Korand, and then we're going to do whatever quest <laughs> allows us to um, to teleport to Hosidius quicker uh, with that little book. Um, I don't remember the names of the quests right now. <laughs> They're kind of newish, not really. Um, I'll figure it out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I figured out what I need to do. Uh, we're going to be doing three quests total. The first one is our non-member quest, X marks the spot, uh, which will allow us to do Client of Korand, which gives us access to the continent in general. And then after that we'll do the Depths of Despair quest, which gives us... Uh, it'll give us access to the teleport to Hosidius. So, that's the plan. Uh, as far as items that I'll need for these quests, uh, I'm going to need a spade uh, and a feather. Um, those will be e easily gatherable in uh, Lumbridge. I can get the spade out of my leprechaun and plenty of chickens to murder in Lumbridge for a feather. Um, after after the first two quests, I will have to get favor for Korand, only 20%, which shouldn't take too long with the plows in the area. Um, so that's our game plan, and I'll see you in the... Uh, I guess I'll see you when uh, I'm finishing up my first quest. And that's Klein of Korand done. We get two lamps. Uh, this favor certificate that we get... Um, it gives you 20% favor in any house of your choosing. A lot of the guides are telling me to use it on Piscarilius, but I don't know if that's going to be the best bet for me on this account specifically, uh, just because uh, with the resources I'm going to be getting from Temperos, the uh, noted planks and whatnot and the nails, I'll be able to easily get early favor at 0.5% per crane fixed in this area, these guys right here. Uh, so that's going to be really easy and really quick to do, plus it'll give me construction experience, which is what I'm after. So I'm not going to use this in Piscarilius. If anything, I think I want to use it on Lovakench, or Lovacane, however you say that. Um, that's the most annoying for me personally. I hate mining in those ash fields. So I'm either going to use it here or I'm going to use it in Hosidius because it'll benefit me now. Um, but I may not do that, just because I'll, I'll go check to see how, how slow the uh, the plowing is for Hosidius Favor, because I need to get up to 20% for my next quest. Um, if it's bearable, I'll hold on to this and just use it in uh, Lovacane, just because that's the one I hate the most. And yeah, so that's the plan with that Favor Certificate. As far as these lamps I got from the quest, uh, I'm thinking about just going and doing... Um, that quest that lets you do herb lore, druidic ritual. Um, just because you can put these lamps, it'll, it's a thousand experience combined into any skill, no matter what the level is. So that's an easy 1,000, that's a, an easy free 1,000 experience into herb lore, which is the hardest skill to train on a UIM, by the way. Um, so I think I'll do that after I complete my Hosidius quest, the uh, Depths of Despair. So. We'll go. Uh, we'll go plow. Uh, see how bearable it is. And uh, oh, also, I I got the uh, the memories book. The, this will actually allow me to teleport back to this area. See, it's got all these teleports uh, based on the different areas in Korand. Uh, the one I'm looking for is going to be lunch by the Lockamus, uh, or whatever that is. Uh, it should take me. Yeah, right here at this fishing spot, which is not too far of a walk to the center of Hasidius, which is where I'm going to be doing a quarter of my construction contracts. So, really nice. Uh, as far as the charges in the book, we get none. Awesome. But we should get some at the beginning, or sorry, at the end of this next quest that we're going to be doing. So, yep, that's that. Yeah, it's been like two minutes plowing so far, and I'm already over 1%, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this for like 20-25 minutes. It's it's bearable. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use our favor certificate on Lovacane. Because, yeah. Hate it. Uh, just to make sure that is the right area. Uh, Lovacane, right? Yep, that's where the ash field is right here. This aids. Uh, so we're going to avoid as much of that as we can by doing this. Yep, yep. 
finalized, no going back. Uh, let's keep plowing. Alright, so we're about halfway done with this plowing activity. Uh, I just had a couple of gripes or nitpicky kind of deals with it. Um, it's not too bad as far as speed at which you get the favor, but it gives you a weird combination of experience. So you get you get farming, obviously, because I mean you're you're farming or helping farm, um, but it gives you crafting experience whenever you repair the thing, which is kind of odd. And if you don't think that's odd, just think about the wording. You're repairing something instead of crafting it. And you're using your hammer to do so. So I think I think that should give construction experience. Maybe I'm a little biased because I need construction experience. But uh, yeah, that's just one thing. But also, the frequency that you have to repair it actually gives you better crafting experience per hour here than it does farming. Which is the activity that you're doing. So I thought that was strange. Just a little, little, little odd thing about plowing my gripes if you will <laughs> but yeah that's all and that's all the favor i need for hosidius to start the quest uh, we've got a strange fruit in the process which will actually help us uh, <laughs> nice little run energy restoration while we do this um and we're actually right next to the start point as well so we'll get cracking on that and i'll see when we have finished when we have it finished up okay so i had to come to the uh library in the uh, RKS area uh, for the quest and decided to be an efficient boy. Um, I had to gather a book here so I said no, might as well just <laughs> finish the favor for our RKS. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I have one more dark manuscript to turn in which should give me 5% exactly, bringing us up to 100%. And that's our first, uh, that's our first house fully maxed. Uh, super easy one to do, the, definitely the easiest, uh, just because of how quick these books are. Uh, and if we view the tasks for Archaeus, uh, we can take a look at some of the activities that we're able to do now. Um, first and foremost, it it does unlock the uh, the Necromancy spellbook, so that'll be useful later down the line. Uh, we can mine Runescence blocks. That won't be. That, that won't matter until like 77 rune crafting when we can craft blood runes. Uh, access to the Archaeus rune and staff shops may be useful. I don't know if they have a discounted price compared to uh, Varrock shops, but we'll we'll keep that in mind. Um, we can create blood runes, soul runes later. That's at 77 and 90 respectively. Uh, claim claim an Archaeus Signet from the Dark Altar. I believe that's for your player-owned house for when you make the uh, magic book altar swapping device thingy. So, yeah. Cool uh, cool thing to have done. Uh, but what's really good about this as well is these books that you get for actually helping the people in the library. Uh, they offer either magic experience or runecrafting experience. And the experience scales up based on your level. And as you can see, I have already gotten 20 magic from this. We started at like 5, so and we still have plenty of books to use, plenty of things to turn in. Even though we're at 100%, you can keep doing it for experience. Um, this might be somewhere we come back to whenever we unlock runecrafting to train it a little efficiently, for the starter levels at least. Um, but for now, we're going to just throw them all in magic, because uh, that's going to be our primary use case throughout questing, at least beginner quests. Uh, so I'll let you guys watch as I open these. It's pretty satisfying watching the magic level go up so quickly. Uh, you can spam it, but since we'll be getting levels very quickly, I want to take advantage of the increased experience rates as the levels go up. So we'll be careful not to spam too hard. Uh, here we go. There's another level, 22. And 23. Easy. And uh, we'll just turn the rest of these books uh, until until we reach a point where they ask for a duplicate that we don't have. So hopefully hopefully we get a little lucky. This is this is most of the books. I'm only missing. I was only missing one. Um, so we'll see how far we can get with almost all of them. Obviously, my chances of having the book in my inventory as we go goes down 
Um, getting pretty lucky so far, though. That's a good amount of magic experience. Oh, okay, we're done there. Um, unless it's on the bottom floor. No, okay. Cool, that's it. Uh, let's finish opening these up. Get all the magic experience we can. There we go. 24 magic. That's pretty awesome. Pearl tips, crossbow bolts. Let's see what I can do. Um, so obviously we'll be able to use firebolt for quests. Whoa, what level? 24. Actually, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get one more book. Oh, it is on the bottom floor. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get this last book, teleportation incantations, which by the way I have already read. So when I do end up getting 69 magic, uh, we can teleport to Corand. Um, so we'll grab this, turn it in, get 25, so that at least when we have Law Runes, we can take advantage of them for Varrock Teleport. And we won't have to rely on having the Chronicle in our inventory. And let's see if we can go further. Uh, nope. No. Oh, it's on the bottom floor. <laughs> We're just going to keep going. <laughs> We're going to take advantage of this while it's easy. Uh... Until we get one that has us go upstairs. Did not expect to get this lucky. Uh, there's a there's 25 magic. Teleport to Varrock. Huge. And there you go, buddy. And there you go. Uh, let's keep it going. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. This is some good luck here, holy shit. Uh, that's four more right there. Uh, we're walking now. Oh my god, five more? Can we get a six? Can we get a six? Come on. Come on, chance is very low. <laughs> There's six? Oh man, nothing going to waste. Come on, lucky number seven, let's go. Oh my god, no way, no way. <laughs> <laughs> what is this RNG? What are the chances of this? I got four more books in my inventory. There's no way. Okay, there we go. There, there's where it stops. Cool, cool. All right, we can just drop the rest of these books. We can use the rest of these for magic experience. Uh, let's not spam. One more should get us a level. 26. We will spam these. And ending off with 27. A lot higher than I thought we were going to be. Uh, but yeah, there we go. 27. Like I said, Fire Strike for beginner quests. And we have level 2 enchant unlocked. So that's uh, that's dueling rings, potentially, if I get some emeralds. Actually, that'd be great if I can get an, if I can get some emeralds, get my crafting to the point uh, to where I can make emerald rings. Uh, that'd be a nice little mode of transportation that I can keep on me. And uh, games necklaces, too. Uh, level 1 enchant was unlocked during this process as well. So, yep. Long clip. Thanks for bearing with me. So I realized that I do have to fight a snake in this quest. And since I'm still a scrub ass with 1 defense, 10 hit points, uh, I'm going to have to rely on my magic to kill it. I do have fire strike unlocked now, luckily. Um, so what I did, I just home teleported to Lumbridge. I got my free 30 mind and air runes from the tutor. And... Now the plan is just to cook these shrimp, or catch these shrimp, and I'll, I'll find a place to cook them on the way back, on the walk back, probably in, like, drainer or something. Um, but yeah, that should be enough fish. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that net. Yeah, so we got fish, we got runes. Uh, on our way back through, we can, we can sail to Land's End, which is a closer dock to where I need to be to fight the snake. Um, and while we're in Port Sarum, before we take the ship, uh, we're going to head to, I believe it's Betty's Rune Shop, uh, and see how many fire runes we can buy with our 200 coins right here. Uh, that way we can actually cast our fire strike. So that's the game plan. A uh, little bit of a speed bump, but we'll get there. Alright, here I am at my second boss encounter of this account. At least quest boss encounter. Uh, I figured I'd start recording in case you get to watch me die again. And plus, it's pretty cool because it's the only, it's the first quest boss that I'll actually be killing uh, by my own means, not cheating with the pillar. 
Uh, so yeah, level 36. I'm level 16. We'll see if we can find a safe spot. It doesn't look like there are <laughs> any places to safe spot it, so I might have to kite it around. Luckily, I have close to full energy. Uh, yeah, we'll try kiting. Let's let's uh, let's get our ass in there. Oh, my FQs are not set up correctly. Okay, uh, we'll be all right. All right, big, big. I don't know what it can hit. Yeah, what are these F keys? I might die because of this. Actually, let me let me get out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give me one second. I'm gonna set my F keys up. Okay, all set. Uh, for those of you wondering, I like to have my F keys set up on my keyboard to uh, uh, for F two to swap to my spellbook, F three for my inventory, and F four for my prayer book. I like. Uh, I like inventory and prayer book being F3 and 4 just because index and middle finger are most dominant on my keyboard hand. Um, so, and those are the ones that you swap to the most in combat. And then F3 is a nice easy little, or sorry, F2 is a nice little easy one to remember for magic uh, with my ring finger placement. So, yep, that's what I got. Good to go. No more confusion. Uh, let's beat this snake's ass. All right. And again, we're going to try to remember to kite it around the room just to try to minimize the on damage, which I don't think is working too well, but I don't know. Yeah, it's doing all right. Wish I had some combo food. Hello. Yeah, we got this bitch. Oh, nobody told me that these only heal one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, let's... Face tank him. Fuck. Yep. Okay, so here we are on the walk of shame. Uh, <laughs> that was <laughs> kind of devastating. I didn't know that anchovies only healed one. Who would have... Who would have thought? I mean, don't they require... Oh, they're on the same level as shrimp. Why wouldn't they heal the same amount? Ah, uh, uh, oh well. Um, that's, that's probably something I should have checked beforehand, but uh, we're going to do this a little... Um, a little smarter this time, I think. Uh, we can't claim our runes from the tutor over there uh, for another hour. So, alright, let's not get mugged. So, um, what we're going to do... Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm a high enough level to not get mugged. Nice. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to head to Drainer. I should have actually thought about this a little better. I need to buy the Chronicle back um, for a fast teleport to Varrock. Um, and just to teleport in general. But I think it costs like 300 coins and <laughs> I don't have any money on me. So we're going to have to think of something else on the fly. Um, okay, uh, yeah, we're just going to teleport to Last Man Standing, I think. Uh, we need some cash. We need to buy runes for this fight, for sure. And as you saw from that last fight, we did actually end up running out of runes uh, from casting and fire. We ran out of air runes, and uh, we ran out of fire runes. So uh, we need to go get enough casts for that, maybe like 50 casts of Fire Strike from, uh, from Varrock. And... I might actually get a staff, uh, just so I don't have to manually, manually cast, so I don't lose any ticks on damage during the fight. Uh, cause it is kind of crucial to not lose out on damage since my hit points are 10, and some of the time spent in the room is eating, which delays my combat. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Last Man Standing. I'm going to get some of my cash. I got plenty in there, like 20,000 or something, and we're going to buy we're going to buy around 50 casts of Fire Strike along with the fire staff, and we're going to go back, we're going to kick that snake's ass. So we got 10k out of our coffer, uh, 11k left in it, and I saw this Castle Wars portal here, and it kind of gave me an idea. Uh, for food, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this portal, and we're not too far off from Ardoin at this point. Um, 
yeah, we're just going to run up to Ardoin and go steal some cakes from the stall. And once I've done that, that'll be a, that'll be a lot better food for the fight in general. Um, plus, I might be able to combo it with some bread or something. But um, yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll uh, we'll wait for our home teleport, and that's how we'll get back to that side of the world. Uh, only five minutes left, so easy. Uh, might actually conserve our run energy since we have the time. And yeah, so we'll have good food. We'll have. Um, more spells to cast, and um, just a better time in general. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you over there. Okay, we just finished our trip, uh, got our chronicle back, and uh, got our uh, fire staff, and 100 casts for our fire strike. <laughs> so, um, all we have to do now is walk back to Port Serum, and then uh, sail back to Land's End and walk back to our cave. Uh, plenty of time to pick up my items off the ground. Uh, they have an hour, if you remember. They have an hour from the point of dropping on the ground um, to you getting there to pick them up. So, plenty of leeway. Plenty of time. Okay, round two. <laughs> Clicked all our stuff off the ground. Nothing lost. Uh, we've got our auto cast on... Fire Strike. We'll set our quick prayers to thick skin because we thick. And uh, we'll still try to kite. Uh, let's fuck him up. Oh, was he safe spot right there? Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, this just became super easy. Sorry to cheesy, buddy. I wish I knew about this to begin with. Although I did run into runes, so that would have been troublesome, because he's level 36 and I would not have been able to punch him. So, either way I would have been screwed. But, cool. Oh, 11 hit points. Count ruined. And snake dead. Hell yeah. Not a single piece of food used. Alright, search this chest. That's what we need. Do we gotta talk to this guy? Nope, just gotta return to the Lord. It's kinda rude. <laughs> just <laughs> leave this dude here. Alright, uh, I'll find the best way back there. And there we go. The Depths of Despair completed. One quest point, 4,000 coins, 1,500 agility experience, and a favor certificate. Uh, also this page. Um, no, there's nothing more you can do for me. Uh, this page I can add to our book here, our memoirs. And it should give me some teleports to... Uh, how do we check? Yeah, okay, so I have eight teleports. Um, essentially to Hosidius. This area here. And that'll be useful later down the road for Mahogany Homes. Um, and this certificate is for Hosidius specifically. I think it'll give me 10%. Let me check. Uh, starting at 20. And yeah, 10%. So, there we go. Easy game. So I decided I'm going to head to Fishing Trawler to go do the quest fight arena. Um, I bought this staff, I bought these runes. It cost about, I don't know, 6k, 5, 6, no, 4 or 5k. Um, don't want to put that money to waste. So I'm just going to use it on quest bosses on beginner quests. And as you can see, I'm about to get gamer logged here, so I'll take care of that soon. But uh, yeah, the plan is to do Fight Arena here, and then if you can guess the quest I'm going to do with this cheese, uh, good on you. But uh, that'll be spoilers for later, I guess. I uh, haven't decided if I have enough or if I want to do Tree Gnome Village while I'm here. I guess that would be pretty efficient, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, yeah, scratch that last clip. Um, I thought about doing Fight Arena, but um, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that there's a quest in the same area that's going to be better for me to do uh, for consistent teleports back to this area, um, and that's going to be Biohazard. Um, and for those of you don't, that don't know, Biohazard is a requirement for the Easy Ardoin Diary. Um, 
So that's probably something I'm going to try to get done as well before grinding out construction because uh, waiting every 20 minutes um, for a teleport back to the side of the world while doing something that takes you consistently here is not going to be very fun. So that's kind of on my radar now. We're going to do this. If we got the runes for it, we'll go do Fight Arena, but I kind of want to prioritize uh, Witch's House, which, yeah, spoilers, I, I know, I read it. Um, just because it'll get me more hit points, a little more survivability, so I stop dying to these, to these scrub bosses. And <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. Uh, I'm not really worried about getting my hit points up. If For those of you who, I don't know, <laughs> if you think that... Uh, I'm going to be doing Winter Todd on this account. Um, I'm not. I really hate it there. Never never going there. Or at least <laughs> not going there until I have Bruise. Um, way later on the account. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah. That's, that's the new plan. The new, new plan. So we're on the last step of the Biohazard quest. We're still in Varrock here. Uh, so we're going to take advantage of where we are in the world. And we're going to... S we're going to just go ahead and go do Witch's House. Um, just because I'm here, I can buy the leather gloves from her, and then I can run my happy ass over there. Um, yeah, it just seems the it seems to be the best way to go right now because, um, well, obviously I could just I could just mini game teleport over there and finish the quest and then teleport back here. But uh, the reason I want to do Wish's House first is just to see how many runes I'm left with because that will determine whether or not I'm going to do the fight arena quest. So we'll do Witch's House, we'll see what I'm left with, and I will see you back in, at the end of this quest, and then we'll go finish uh, Biohazard. That's Witch's House done, four quest points, 6,325 hit points experience. Uh, we'll no longer get one or two hit by absolutely anything in the game. Uh, 25 hit points, that's great, that's more than double. It's about a 150% increase. Uh, 400 total level, actually. Cool. Nice little milestone. Um, yeah, I don't need this stuff anymore. Um, okay, so we're left with 55 casts, and I just watched a video on somebody that did the quest as well, and he used 62 casts for the... Uh, to, to kill Bouncer in the fight arena quest, to get all the way up to Bouncer and kill him. So... Since I'm really close to having the bare minimum cast for that quest, I think I might just go get a few more mind runes just to be on the safe side. Maybe around, I don't know, 75, 85 casts. And we'll go ahead and knock that out. Okay, so killed Bouncer. I uh, went ahead and finished up the rest of my casts. I had like close to 20 left, so. Uh, yeah, using up the last of my casts on General Kazard. Uh, you don't have to kill him if you didn't know that, uh, so he's half dead, but I could just leave out this door. Um, and he can't do shit about it. Pussing out. Alright. Um, so now that that's done, I can just leave out the door I came in and go talk to the bitch that gave me the quest. Uh, somewhere over here. Uh, let's find her. I can also drop the stuff that I don't need. Definitely my favorite part about questing. Or Ultimate Iron Man in general. Just drop that shit. Okay, Lady Lady Serval. This should be it. Yep. Uh, fight Arena done. Two quest points. 12,175 attack experience. 2,175 thieving. And 1,000 more coins. Hell yeah. Rich get richer. 29 attack. Level 1 to 29. So. <laughs> uh, and I also got 21 thieving. I think it was like 16 or something. So, cool. That's that. Uh, now that that's done, let me think here. Uh, we still need to finish up Biohazard, don't we? So, uh, let's go do that. Okay, we finished Biohazard. We got up to 23 thieving uh, from level 21. And uh, I forgot to show you, but I just sold my fire staff at this shop. Um, we were able to sell it for 825. He buys it for around high elk value, which is 900, as you can see right here. So just uh, maximizing on our uh, on our uh, GP, so that we don't lose too much. I spent 1,500 on the staff and sold it for 8,025. Uh, got a lot more from it in that shop than I would have at another shop. 
I uh, just decided to come here since I was close by. Okay, we're back at uh, Temporos. Uh, we've cleared our inventory pretty much. Uh, we deposited our cash deck in Last Man Standing. Uh, we destroyed our Chronicle so we could build our memoirs. Um, we can reclaim that back anytime from Drainer for just like 300 coins, so no big deal. Um, yeah, uh, we're just going to get everything we need to do our solo method. Um, and we'll get back at it. We'll do 100 more points and then most likely under construction. So, hell yeah. By the way, I just realized when I died to that snake, I must have lost the experience lamps that I got from doing, um, what is it, the core end, the first core end quest, which kind of sucks because that was 500 experience each that was supposed to go into Herblore. I had like a whole plan to go do um, Druidic Ritual so I could throw those lamps in there. I'm not sure if you can reclaim those. I'll, I'll check later and I'll, I'll get back to you on that if I remember. Hopefully I remember. So we've got over 517 Temporus rewards. As you can see our kill count for him is 92. Uh, since we are over 500 reward points we've met our goal. We've more than met our goal. So what this means is we um, we're free to claim our rewards at any time. But I think what I've decided to do, uh, since I don't have my consistent teleport to Ardoin yet to train construction, uh, I'm going to take a little break from here, and I'm going to go get that cape. We'll do the Ardoin hard, uh, not hard, the Ardoin easy diaries, and the quests required for it. So I think we just need to do rune mysteries, and then uh, we're pretty set for everything else there. Uh, we'll knock that out. And then what we're going to do is come back to Temporos for a little bit of bonus points. Um, I want I want this to be a nice even 100 kills. So a little bit of bonus content for you guys. A little bit more rewards. We'll probably be up to around uh, 600 rewards instead of 500 uh, to claim from the pool. So that'll be really exciting whenever we finally decide to do that. Um, so yeah, off to do the Ardoin Easy Diary. Okay, Restless Ghost is done. I know this wasn't on the agenda, but uh, it was on the way. I, I decided to combo it with uh, Rune Mysteries quest. You start it with a duke. Uh, or Sorry, you start this quest here in Lumbridge in the church and Rune Mysteries with a duke in the castle. And then in, it they both take you to the basement of the Wizard's Tower, so no reason not to do it. Uh, plus I got a sweet new best in slot amulet. Uh, but there we go, one quest point, 1,125 prayer experience, and the amulet. 33 quest points total. Uh, let's go to Varrock to continue with Rune Mysteries. Rune Mysteries complete. One quest point, air talisman, and Rune Essence Mine Access, which is exactly what we're looking for for our our, uh, our Doin Easy Diary. So I'm going to ask him to teleport me there. That might be an achievement. He I guess so, yeah, yeah. Easy Lumbridge and Drainer. So, we just have to repeat that when we're in our Doin. I'm gonna head there now. Here we are at two points. Uh, completed the already Easy Diaries, obviously. So, we're gonna go ahead and claim our reward. Which is pretty awesome. We get a free teleport, unlimited teleports to this side of the world. Uh, it takes us right to the chapel. Here I'll demonstrate. Here we are. Really convenient location. Can recharge our prayer easily anytime we teleport here. And just for reference, we are in between Port Gazard and Easter Doin. So really great. I won't have to rely on this minigame teleport to the fishing trawler anymore to get here. I won't have to be timing my home teleport with my minigame teleport, I'll just be able to come here and I can teleport to Varrock with my Chronicle, uh, so then home teleport with to Lumbridge, you know, so we, we've got some transport now. Um, with that, that's going to help us a lot for when we get construction contracts in Ardoin, uh, because a good amount of them do take place within this market here, uh, and even over here, I believe. So that's going to help out. We have our memoirs to teleport us to Hosidius, and we have our Chronicle that's going to teleport us to Varrock to do contracts there, 
and then Falador, I think we're just kind of shit out of luck. We're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to walk from wherever we are. Uh, the fastest is probably gonna be to just chronicle and walk from there, which kind of sucks, but it's really not too bad. We don't wait too much, so our run energy will be replenishing pretty quickly. Plus, after every contract, we do get our run restored. So, yeah, that's that. Really awesome cape. Uh, the lamp, uh, actually, I'm not sure what to do with yet, but I will figure out a purpose for it. I would love it. I would love for it to go into herb lore, but I'm not sure what level I need for that. I haven't even done druidic ritual to unlock herb lore, so uh, we'll see what restrictions are on this lamp. But oh, and speaking of lamps, I did look on the wiki, and it turns out I can reclaim those lamps from Veos. Um, so we'll be doing that as soon as we complete druidic ritual. Um, so with that, we're just going to head back over to Temporos. We're going to get our final kill count. I believe we ended at 92. We're going to go for the even 100 and hopefully end with somewhere around 600 reward points. All right, that makes 100 Temporos kill count, uh, putting us up to a total of 592 reward permits to claim. Uh, that's going to be so nice, so satisfying to actually finally grab all those rewards. But, uh, I mean, there's a reason we waited this long to grab them. It's mm, it's just the most efficient thing to do on an Ultimate Iron Man to grab all the rewards at once, because everything else that we've been doing on the account, including fighting Temporos, would be incredibly difficult to do with the full inventory of rewards. So, <laughs> kind of have no choice but to wait till the end. Um, but it just makes it that much better. Um, yeah, so that's it for the Temporos grind, as far as I know. I don't know if I'll ever come back here, but I can't tell the future. Um, we'll go ahead and clear my inventory, I guess, clear my screen markers, and yeah, we'll get into whatever's next. So unfortunately, reward permits are not going to be what's next. I was doing some calculations over on the OSRS portal, just to get some projections on quantities of planks and fish specifically that I can expect from the reward permits that I've gathered and the numbers are looking kind of close so it projected 49 construction and that's with using all of the planks efficiently with mahogany homes and I do not plan to use all of my planks efficiently uh, there are there are other use cases for them like uh, actually building stuff in my house and using them in stash units and also the Piscarilius favor so not every plank is going to get its maximum usage so with that I'm going to need a buffer uh, I'll probably end up going to around I don't know 650 700 reward points total just to get that buffer uh, make it a little more comfy for me because once I open this metaphorical or I guess <laughs> physical box um, there's no putting it back in like I'll just have a full inventory of rewards that I'll have to deal with and that won't be good because if I need something more I won't be able to go back and do the activity to get something more so that's the plan we're gonna keep doing Temporos till 650 or 700 reward points most likely 700 and create that little that little buffer for ourselves just wanted to flex. We got a personal best coming up on Temporos. Pretty wild one. Looks like it's going to be around. Yeah, 87, over 8,700 points. Hell yeah. I still only get 10 for warp permits, though. It's kind of random whether you get 10 or 11, but yeah, new personal best. Pretty awesome. Alright, here we are at Temporos, getting the last of the reward permits that we need for the uh, little buffer that we're making. Uh, this is where I've decided to end the video, unfortunately. Uh, it kind of sucks, I know, that I didn't get to get the rewards in for you at the end, uh, but we'll have them for you at the beginning of the next one. Um, I did end up making a solo guide for this, um, targeted specifically at lower level accounts or um, starter Ironman. So if you're curious as to how I did the majority of my points solo, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'll have it either at the end of this video or linked down below. Um, 
If you liked it, do what you want. I'll see you in the next one.